My name is Jia Yufu or Julie. Um, I double major in social psychology and management science at here, uh, and I will be attending human resources management master program at Ohio State University's Fisher College of Business. So my overall or key strategy is planning in advance. Uh, it doesn't mean like you need. Uh, it doesn't only mean you need to plan your application process in advance. It means you need to uh, begin to discover your own interests and what you want to do from like very the very the beginning of your college or early than earlier than your application process starts. So it's totally okay if you don't know what you are doing, um, like many people do. I didn't know what I want to do when I entered the college, but the two only things I know that time is that first I want to uh, work in an office environment. Second one, I like observing people's behaviors, facial expressions, and interaction, which is why I uh, declared a psychology ma major. So I want to find a career that can co combine these two things. So I started to, to uh, take some internship opportunities to test my interests, which means I don't know what I want to do, so I tried everything I uh, I think may like may be may work for me. So for the interviews, I have two interviews. They are all online through online interview websites. So the, the questions were pre-recorded into videos, and my answers are were also video recorded. So when you are, they will give you a week to prepare your interview, but. Uh, you cannot you, you, you cannot know the questions first so when you're prepared you find a quiet room dressed up sit there and then click start so the question uh, there on your um, laptop there will be a small video there a person there saying oh, okay uh, what's why you chose our program strategy for interview is that I always have plan B for each questions uh, plan B is a tailored version of all my answers. So after I have a complete and long answers, I cut them off, I highlight the keywords, and I start to think which points I must to include in my answer. So in my mind, there's, a complete, uh, there's an outline instead of a, a full answer word by words. The program I was accepted as human resources man management. It's more business side. So for this HR uh, master programs field, there's no public or official ranking stuff. So, but I visit, I visited some schools and I talked to the program directors, faculties and students there. So I know the top five of HR master program is Cornell, uh, University of Minnesota Twin City, Ohio State University, uh, Illinois, U uh, UIUC, yeah, and Rutgers. So these five are top five programs in the field and there's no the best or the fifth is mostly about which one you fit the most. So I chose a house days program because it's evening class and there, there are also a, like m there are many opportunities on campus for me because I, I got a position, like okay, it's a graduate assistant position is HR function, which is, I think it's really helpful for me to practice my professional skills and prepare me well for the future career. So that's how I chose program. I don't want to take full time, full, full day classes again, like the more than 15 years in the past of my school life. So that's what I emphasize when I chose school. So the first one is early preparation. Like I mentioned, I start to think about my uh, career before I enter the college. So I took trial and error, and the whole process, the interest discovery process, lasts over two years. So it's a long time. So that's why I said you need to prepare early. Not don't just start to think about it right before your application starts. You need to take GRE, you need to write personal statements, and you need to uh, ask a professor for their let uh, recommendation letter. Uh, it's not just rec recommendation letter. You need to prepare some materials for professors. So 
yeah. So there's a lot of things to do. So you need to have a clear goal and a clear view about yourself before all these things happens. The second one is uh, build your connections and reach out to people. For me, I met one of my mentors uh, at our school's career fair two years ago. I sent follow up e- follow up email to her, as everyone did, but I kept in touch with her. I visit her. We have a coffee chat, and she gave me many suggestions. But but the thing is, I follow her suggestions. I in, I improved my communication skills, uh, language skills. So when I met her next time, she could say like, "Oh, Julie, you." You're so different from the last time, so that's the thing. You cannot just, you, you cannot just. Oh, you you want to use their resources, you want to use their connections, so you reach out to them and be nice to them. No, it's you need to be, um, be honest, be straightforward, and be yourself. 